Hi everybody, my name is Heather Finley, and as you know, it's Tuesday, so I'm here with a recommendation video on comics you should be reading. This week is going to be a little different because I'm going to be at a convention this weekend, the Silicon Valley Con in San Jose. So I wanted to recommend books that you can pick up at the booth I would be working with. Um, these comics books are also available online and in stores, comic book stores, bookstores, everywhere. So you can get them all over. But if you're here this weekend, please come to my booth. So the comics I'll be talking about is from Aspen Comics. I am a very big fan, as you can see. I actually currently write for them as well as write as well as go to many, many shows with them. Um, Aspen Comics was founded in 2003 by Michael Turner. If you've read Witchblade, he did Witchblade as well. If you've seen um, recent like stuff for Civil War and Batman vs. Superman, there's a pretty good chance that you've seen his artwork there. His stuff is definitely very influential and iconic, so you probably have seen something by him. Uh, one thing I really love about Aspen Comics is I think all of their comics are geared towards about anybody. I don't feel like any of them are definitely skewed towards male or female like type stuff. I don't feel that any of them necessarily have like an age range type thing that they fit in. Very universal. There's a lot of them that I think you could pick up, like give to your teenagers and stuff. There's a lot that I think you could give to your young kids and be okay. And still, you know, as old as you get, you'll still enjoy them. So, without further ado, let me give you some recommendations. The first one I am going to recommend is the first comic that Aspen ever put out, and that is Soulfire. Can you see it okay? got new lighting so it's kind of blurring. Anyways, so Soulfire is a world that has been taken over by kind of this dark mechanical type force and Malachi needs to bring magic back into the world in order to balance everything out. So we've got this whole cast of characters kind of helping him out, guiding him on his way. Um, the artwork is by Michael Turner and then it's covered by Peter. If you're at a show you can definitely get everything signed by Peter. Um, let me flip to a few pages here. Definitely super, super beautiful stuff. Very awesome. I'm just going to say that about all these things. They're very awesome. So there's multiple volumes. This is volume one, so a good place to start. But an awesome thing about Aspen Comics is their stuff is kind of written kind of like series of a seasons of a TV show. So it kind of makes sense on its own no matter what. So you can jump in anywhere. But this is volume one. The next one I highly recommend is what the company was named after, and that is... Fathom. Fathom is the story of Aspen Matthews. She is a marine biologist, so super smart, badass chick that finds out that she is actually part of an underwater race. So the series kind of chronicles her going down there, discovering all this stuff to do with different like factions of beings down there, dealing with the surface, dealing with all different stuff. Uh, there's some military stuff that's pretty interesting in here, lots of cool things. Um, again, same team on the artwork and coloring and everything, so again, super beautiful. This is actually the first comic book that I ever picked up, so it's what made me love comic books to begin with. So definitely, this is this is why I got this tattoo was for this, so I absolutely recommend it. And again, there's lots of volumes. There's also some different series like Keanu and stuff that um, offshooted from it, so many choices. All right, and the last one I'm going to talk about, this this is a, a little bit self-serving because I have a novella series coming out based on these and I um, have written one comic that fell in these, but the last one I want to tell you about today is Executive Assistant. Um, this is Executive Assistant Iris. There's a volume one, volume two, and Hit List Agenda. Um, by the way, I don't have all the bind-ups of stuff. I have a lot of individual comics, so I'm just showing the bind-ups that I currently have, but there is more available at the booth, I swear. So, Executive Assistant is based on a kind of rumor that businessmen would hire these beautiful tea assistants that their person that they were in the meeting with would not feel like afraid of because they weren't like a big huge security guard which would be considered rude. Instead you have these beautiful tea servants but it turns out that they were trained to take care of business and business needed done. So the main series, Iris, is about Iris and she finds out stuff's going on with her boss and then kind of interacts with other assistants and stuff and then goes off from there. 
Very awesome. Lots of action. Um, these might be slightly more adult than some of the other books, but I still wouldn't say that they're anything too crazy. Um, hopefully these will become a movie soon and it's going to be awesome. So yeah, that's my third one that I think you should all pick up. Besides these, there is tons and tons of awesome stuff available from Aspen. Um, Charismagic and like Overtaken are some of my favorites. Um, Lola XOXO, Trish Out of Water. There's tons of great stuff and I literally they have like every genre you can think of and there's stuff that like little kids would really love. And yeah, just lots of awesome stuff. It's a very cool company. I am very happy to be part of it. And yeah, I think that's all I have before I just keep gushing and gushing and gushing. So I will later do videos kind of going over some more of the Aspen stuff. But that's enough for one day. So if you're going to Silicon Valley Con this weekend, make sure to stop by the booth. Um, even if you're not picking anything up, I'd still love pictures. I'd love to meet people. So yeah. Stop in, and to everyone else, I will be back with a new recommendations video next week.